All right, baby. Well, let's finish up this um, lesson on inequalities in one triangle by looking at a real world example, which carries us to the dreaded word problem. But they're not too bad. You just got to be patient and persevere. So let's see what we got here. This is about lifeguarding. During lifeguard training, an instructor simulates a person in distress. So here's the instructor here. Uh, simulates a person in distress so that trainees can practice their rescue skills. If the instructor, trainee one, so here's trainee one down here, and trainee two, are located in the position shown on the diagram, which one of the two trainees is closest to the instructor? Hmm. Well, based on the angle side relationships, the shortest side is going to be opposite the shorter angle. And so we're given an angle measure here of 60 and we're given an angle measure here of 59 are almost equilateral, but not quite. We're not told what the angle for where, where trainee one is standing, but we can figure it pretty quick because it's 180 degrees in a triangle. And we got 60 here, so that makes 120. And then we got 59 with trainee two. And so that means that trainee one has got to be sitting at a 61 degree angle from the instructor. Now, which one is the shortest distance? It's easy to get tripped up on this because you're thinking about the angle rather than the side. Well, if the length of the side, the shortest side, is opposite the shortest angle, then that means that the shortest side is right there between trainee one and the instructor. So, which of the two trainees is closest to the instructor? Trainee, is it one or two? One or two, it's trainee one. All right, real world examples. You get to do two or three more. They're kind of fun. You can handle it. You can do it.